Porterbrook have another unit on display which is the second iteration of their Hydroflex concept so this is more of a working model the one that I took a ride on in 2019 was just basically a prototype but this is actually kind of a production model as you call it it's due to start mainline testing and complete that mainline testing this year and they're hoping potentially to get a customer for it although they wouldn't really say who but they're hoping to get a customer for it maybe towards the end of this year so it might actually run on rails this year potentially which could be quite exciting so yeah it's a hydrogen train powered completely by hydrogen it does have batteries as well but that's more to do with power delivery and things like that but we'll talk a bit more about that in a second so this front driving motor car here has all of the tanks for the hydrogen and the control systems it's got four 100 kilowatt uh, fuel cells which top up a battery which is in one of the trailer cars actually as you know the battery is in the uh, the driving motor vehicle it is a 220 kilowatt battery so um it's uh so basically what happens is the hydrogen fuel cells they kind of work at a steady state and they just top up the batteries trickle the batteries so when the driver comes to accelerate from a station the actual power delivery will come from that 220 kilowatt hour battery but i was told that the actual total power output of the vehicle could reach 800 kilowatts so that if it's needed you know for rapid acceleration and stuff like that so there is that potential just for short bursts of 800 kilowatts but the actual battery itself 220 kilowatts and the four hydrogen fuel cells are 100 kilowatts now the train is based on a class 319 so it is capable of traveling up to 100 miles per hour but it has been capped at 90 which i guess isn't too actually too bad for the lines that this is going to operate on it does still have its uh, pantograph so it could potentially travel on electrified lines and then use the hydrogen fuel cell for the non-electrified lines and i guess once you know if it's under uh, overhead power then it could travel up to 100 miles per hour but the actual fuel cells just to kind of give them that range basically it has been capped at 90 miles per hour which still isn't too bad so taking a look on board it does look pretty much like a standard class 319 the seats themselves the structure of the seats has been retained but these lovely actually really quite nice let's just sit down on one leather seats are uh, recycled leather and they're actually quite comfortable i don't think they've got new padding in them but uh, actually yeah very nice so going with the kind of green theme with the hydrogen so they have you know keen to stress that all of the leather recycled I'm not sure how leather recycling works but you know they've, they've done it so that's pretty good they've got these uh, information displays here and obviously the led lighting as well just to keep that uh, energy consumption as low as possible so it's got the uh, the two plus three which i'm not a huge fan on but fan of but i guess if you want to keep the capacity with the loss of that uh, power car for the control systems and the tanks then i guess uh, it's not too bad they are still a three car well in a from a passenger perspective they're a three car set so it's not too bad it actually looks quite smart you've got usb charging here as well so we've got all the mod cons that passengers expect and we've also got the capability of running 5g as well through the wi-fi and things like that so you've got the uh information the emergency information there you can see from a passenger perspective it just it is a three car train with all the power systems the fuel cells and the fuel tanks within that uh, driving motor vehicle at the front so although this is beyond the prototype now it is a demonstrator vehicle it could go into operation if they find a customer for it but this was actually introduced at cop 26 so basically we've got this conference style seating here so you would have had kind of dignitaries and mps all coming to take a look at the hydrogen train uh, you've got all this again recycled plastics throughout so i think the chairs as well kind of using i know they're metal but using re uh, recycled materials so they just really wanted to stress kind of the green credentials of this train it's not just about the hydrogen it's about what's actually inside the train itself as well so yeah it's all really interesting it looks really you know it's not this is far beyond the prototype that i went on in 2019 this is a proper fully functioning and kitted out train and it's all looking pretty smart <laughs> 